Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're in West Texas. You can hear the train rolling, and we're in Van Horn at a little shack known for excellent Mexican food. We're at Mom's Kitchen. Van Horn is a small town in West Texas that feels sort of stuck back in time. Maybe it's because this community happens to be the last stop in the central time zone for Texans traveling west on I-10. But before you can head into the past or back to the future, there's a place to get some pretty darn good Mexican food called Mom's. We still don't even lock our vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Van Horn's a sleepy town. Uh -huh. It's safe and they can enjoy a good meal. Owner Maggie Espinosa is not a cook by any professional means. While she's been making meals since she was a little girl, she took a completely different career path as a hairdresser. I kept some of my books, hairstyle books, and then 10 years later I took them out and it's the same hairstyle except a little bit different. Oh yeah? So they, it goes around every 10 years it changes, but almost the same thing. So it all comes back. It all comes back. Unfortunately, after a life of lopping off locks, her hands had enough. I had the carpal tunnel on my hand. So I went to the doctor and, and she said, that's it. Was that hard for you to have to give up hairdressing? Oh, yes. Uh, it was heartbreaking for me. So you take the year off and it's kind of a chance for you to refresh yourself. This is something new. Yeah. I love it. Before she dove into making dishes, Maggie and her husband, Oscar, decided it was time to travel the world. So the couple that's been married since 1962 did just that. We took off. We so, went to uh, Italy, France, Switzerland, awesome. Austria, uh, it's not all. All, all over. Along the way, Oscar would pick up coffee cups everywhere they went. Maggie didn't really perk up to the idea. Coffee cups are your thing. Yeah. Did you ever get tired of the cups? Like when your husband kept buying cups, did you ever tell him to stop? Like, yeah, stop. I said, yeah, well, what are we gonna do with the cups? Well, here, you know, when we open, there's where we're gonna put the cups. <laughs> now their collection is on display, but Maggie does have one that's close to her heart. Do you have a favorite cup? One from Paris. Paris? Paris. Was that a dream come true to go to Paris? Yes. Do you have a least favorite cup? I think, uh, the one from Oklahoma. I didn't like Oklahoma that much. <laughs> she told us her least favorite cup is the Oklahoma cup. <laughs> yeah. You might want to throw that one away. Yeah. Eventually, Maggie got tired of time elsewhere and wanted to be home with the armadillo. I'm tired of traveling. Was it better going on the travel and seeing the world or is it better seeing Maggie happy? It's better seeing Maggie happy. Together, they run moms with their daughter Betty by their side. Oh, he's a great help. Anything that breaks, everything, you know, he helps chop, wash dishes. He's, he waits on tables and he's very kind. He's very nice about it. And this whole time you thought you were retired. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie is known for her Mexican food. So we had her cook up a dish with all her favorites. I can eat those <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Those are amazing. <laughs> the combo plate features her red and green enchiladas, a taco, and rice and beans. My mom showed us how, you know, this is what you do, this is what you do, okay. You know, she used to say, now you're ready to get married. First off, preparing the tortillas. So you just take corn tortillas and put them in the fryer? In the fryer. With your hands? You don't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just because don't want you to burn your hands. Nope, nope. I would never put my hands near the fryer. Nope. You can make the hard taco hard on your own. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. No shells, because the, those shells are so artificial. Then comes her meat mixture. And you make this stuff every day? Every day. Wow. Every day. I dedicate myself to doing things the right way, because I go to places and I think, nope, this is not right. Is it therapeutic to be able to work with your hands again? That's what the doctor said. Yeah. That's the best. Grab it like this. Yeah. Don't have to sit there and... and no, for Ugh. so many years. It doesn't take long for Maggie to work her magic with some chicken, cheese, green sauce, red sauce, and homemade rice and beans. The combo plate is ready. All we need to do is add the taco. Add the taco. <laughs> oh boy. Van Horn, Texas, this is your secret little place. The taco alone proves how the flavors across the Lone Star State are completely different. You wouldn't find a taco like this on the east side or the south side. This is definitely a West Texas taste. It's authentic. The green sauce, a good combination of the regional flavors here in West Texas. You got a little bit of that green chilies from New Mexico. 
a little bit of Tex-Mex from the state, and then you have the El Paso flair of things. So let's move on over to the red enchilada. Cheese, corn tortilla, and that homemade red sauce. Wow, I think I could eat a dozen of those. That's amazing. Oh man. We try to do the best. Being in Van Horn, this is the perfect stop, whether you're going two hours to El Paso or six hours to San Antonio, because this will prepare you for the drive. You'd be surprised how many people come off the interstate and find this sort of place. Well, if you ever find yourself heading east or west on Interstate 10, stopping in Van Horn at Mom's Kitchen, owned by Maggie, is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Mm -hmm.